This is the best LEGO Star Wars Battle Pack to ever be made. It comes with four amazing minifigures that you can build your army with. But unfortunately, for clone collectors like me, trying to build an army of Phase 1 troopers from the Clone Wars era is very hard to do, as they're very expensive. But I have so much nostalgia from the Clone Wars and the Clone Wars movie for these minifigures, so I'm going to try to build an army of them today. And while you guys are here guys, my name is Jeremy, welcome to Saberbrook Studios. I'm working on a Battle of Endor mock that I'm going to be taking to Brookville, Chicago this year, as well as three Pirates of the Caribbean ships. So make sure you guys go check out those videos, but without ado guys, let's get into the haul. Alright, so today we're going to be fulfilling my childhood dream of going broke. No, I'm just kidding, but these clones are very, very expensive and hard to find in high quantities. But this is a look at the first haul that I recently got. I actually got another one where I got five of these clone troopers and a different one. But this was a lot of 14 clones I managed to pick up for about $95 uh, including shipping and all that, so a pretty sweet deal. Some of them have miscellaneous helmets on them. There's some extra gunner helmets that also come with this. So I'm going to dump these out for you guys. Definitely a pretty sweet deal for these. I love these Phase 1 Shinies, and of course, I think they came with three or four uh, gunners that are complete and one sergeant as well, as well as two Horn Humpney Troopers. So as I'm setting up all these figures here, guys, I'm checking at the condition. One of them came with a Stormtrooper body. That's kind of different, but I mean, it's a classic one, so I can't go wrong with that. But I got, I got these guys off of eBay. Pretty solid deal. Like I said, 95 for 14 clone troopers from this era is really hard to come by. Uh, they all look to be in pretty good condition. Some of them do have Sharpie like you see there. There's always going to be a few duds in this. I also think I found a kind of, kind of beaten up helmet. Some of them are a little bit more worn. That is pretty common for these minifigures as this was a very, very widely available set. Meaning a lot of people had them, especially kids. So they have some play wear on them. But I knew that going into this haul. I also got some black armor and guns that came with all these guys, so that is definitely a nice bonus with this set, as the black armor is pretty rare as well. But yeah, awesome minifigure so far. So here's a look at all those minifigures set up so far. I do have a lot of the extra parts to make these figures complete, uh, but I just wanted to have the ones that are 100% ready uh, kind of set up there because I have some more for you guys. This next one, guys, is 10 Phase 1 Clone Troopers. This one was kind of an interesting packaging. It's just kind of strange, but uh, these look to be in excellent condition. I picked up 10 of these guys, so I believe, for $90, which seems like a lot, but it's pretty good considering that each of them goes for about 15 to 20 bucks by themselves. So getting them for about $9 each is actually a pretty sweet deal. These ones are in actually very good condition. I talked to the buyer about it, or the seller, I should say. And so I'm really happy to add 10 more of these guys to my collection so now i have 17 uh without the ones i previously have which i do have 11 currently that are complete there's a bunch with extra bodies and stuff that i'm going to be buying helmets for just to continue building my classic uh clone army and I did get one last package, guys, that only came with four of these guys. I managed to pick this up for $30. Again, it's a pretty sweet deal considering how rare these minifigures are and hard to attain. These are also in very good condition, uh, very lightly used. Uh, none of them have cracks on their torsos. That's something I kind of bugs me with minifigures is the cracks. Um, but yeah, this one came pretty well packaged as well. Um, so definitely really cool. We just added now 21 uh, phase one shinies into the collection they all have the right face and everything like that and of course all those other miscellaneous clones so i'm going to set these guys all up for you after i clean them because that is one thing i like to do as you guys can see definitely something i recommend doing if you buy used lego just to get some of that kind of dirt and wear and tear off of them there's a look at a bunch of the torsos from that first lot because those were kind of the dirtiest. Uh, so those are the first ones I did. Again, I would highly recommend cleaning your minifigures. Uh, pretty solid. But here's a look at the base plate, guys, with all those minifigures I've added to my collection. I'm still building my clone army. Of course, I want to keep growing it as well. Uh, but nostalgia definitely played a very large role in this video. But I hope you guys enjoyed this classic LEGO Star Wars clone haul from like 2009 to 2012 era. Some of my favorite sets of all time. Make sure you guys drop a like if you guys enjoyed this haul video. There's going to be some more coming soon on the YouTube channel. As well as my Battle Vendor mock series that's going to continue. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like. And I'll see you guys on the next one.